Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I would like to start with welcoming all of you to year nine. Happy new academic year, inshallah. And the new recording video today, it will be just a revision on whatever we studied last year. And I would like to start with the value of honesty. As all of you know, honesty means doing the right thing in the right way at the right time. Honesty also implies doing one's work as sincerely and as perfectly as possible. Honesty also implies carrying out duties as fully as possible, whether the person is supervised or not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in chapter number 133, ayah number 1 to ayah number 6, Allah says, Woe to those that deal in fault, those who, when they have to receive by measure from men, exact full measure. But when they have to give by measure or weight to men, they give less than due. Do they not think that they will will be called to account on a mighty day on the day of resurrection when all mankind will stand before the Lord of the world. This ayat in Arabic Allah SWT says A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Wailun Lil Mutaffifin الذين إذا اكتالوا على الناس يستوفون وإذا كالوهم أو وزنوهم يخسرون ألا يظن أولئك أنهم مبعوثون We need to be honest in front of our parents We should be trustful in front of, of friends and in our working place as well when we are learning or teaching, we should be honest as well. The Prophet ﷺ says, He who cheats is not of us. Deceitfulness and fraud or fraud are things that lead to hellfire. Allah orders the Muslim to be honest in all cases, in all deeds and words, to himself and others. We do need to be honest in all aspects of our lives, Without these traits, we should know that there will be no balance and harmony in our lives and societies. The Prophet ﷺ says, The signs of a hypocrite are three. The hip hypocrite has three signs. When he speaks, he is false. He is false. When he promises, he fails to achieve his promise. And when he is trusted, he plays false. So we need to know that honesty promotes authenticity. Honesty is a reflection of your own thoughts and feeling. Honesty fosters courage. Honesty demonstrates demonstrate self-respect and respect of others as well. We should also know that Allah cares of those who lie. This honesty spoils face. There is no respect for those who are dishonest. And no one can trust a dishonest person. Uh, some other values we have learned. If you remember this topic, actions are judged by intention. And we already learned this according to the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad. And by seeing this hadith, we learned that pure intention means to do something or help someone with fall sincerity the best sincerity is sincerity towards allah it is one of the most important criteria allah uses to judge the state of an individual's heart so muslim believe that performing good deeds helps cancel their sins it is not enough to do a lot of good deeds only to gain worldly benefits or praise from others because without pure and sincere intention, we cannot achieve Allah's mercy and the blessings. If someone cannot do a lot of good deeds, but he or she does a very small good deed, but they 
their intention is to gain Allah's pleasure means they are what sincere only they would get Allah's mercy and the blessing inshallah the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu said the deeds are considered by the intentions and the person will get the reward according to his intention as well we have learned about sincerity which is ikhlas in Arabic and we learned the importance of sincerity it removes the bad feelings and jealousy from one's heart it develops happiness in society it develops a strong unity and the brotherhood in society it develops positive thinking for others it removes corruption from society the Prophet ﷺ says your deeds are depend on your intention the relationship with Allah is the best relation we can ever have Allah SWT as well doesn't look like at our appearance or our shape or our state or something like that but Allah looks at our heart so your deeds your good deeds is what you are gonna be judged accordingly uh, thank you so much for that for listening and I hope you learned something today it is like summarize or recapping for what we learned last year thank you so much wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh